All right, hello everyone. For this worksheet for your painting skills packet, this is um, page number three, and you're going to be painting a value landscape. The directions say paint the value scale, so that would be this here, so start here, using a monochromatic color scheme. So what that means is light and dark versions of one color. So you'll need to grab a paint palette and just grab a little bit of one color, I chose blue, and then grab black and white, because you're gonna be mixing up blue and black to make a dark blue, blue and white to make a light blue, and then your regular blue is your medium blue. So you're gonna paint the value scale first, paying close attention to the values that you see in this picture here. So I am going to first start by taking my one color, which is blue, dip my paintbrush in just a little bit on the tip, and I'm gonna paint space number four, just my color, um, because that is supposed to be the medium value. There's seven spaces, so four would be the medium middle part of those spaces. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to either choose um, to mix up the light or the dark, so it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna take a little bit of blue, wash my brush, and then I'm gonna start to mix white with my blue to do my light areas. So I put a little bit of blue or a little bit of white into my blue and I made a lighter version of blue. So I'm gonna use that to actually paint space number two because I think it got a little bit too light. And then I'm gonna use a little bit more of my white to lighten this even more to make it a really light blue. So I took two more scoops of white and I'm gonna paint space one. So that's my lightest blue. And then um, I'm gonna paint a color in between these. So actually I'm gonna take blue again, but this time I'm gonna only take a tiny bit of white. And you can see that's only a little bit lighter than my original blue. So you want this scale to be kind of even from dark to light there. So you're gonna, I'm gonna wash my brush off and I'm going to now mix up some darker blues. So I'm just gonna mix in these circles here. So I'm gonna take blue, now black is so overpowering because it's so dark. So take the tiniest bit of black each time and mix it up with your color. And you should see a blue that's slightly darker than your middle. Now take a little bit more black, mix it up. Slightly darker again, and a little bit more black. Mix it up again until you have almost the darkest blue that you could get. It's almost black. Okay, so that's a pretty good scale. Now I'm gonna paint this, val this value scale landscape down here using those values. So if you look at the picture here, it has black, so the darkest color, then a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter, all the way until white. So I can actually paint this black and leave this white. And then one, two, three, four, five, those five values in between, imagine those are these, one, two, three, four, five, those values that you paint here. So you could literally use these colors that you already mixed up, that's totally fine. I'm gonna start with black. I would grab probably a medium, a large, and a skinny brush just for the different areas because these areas are very large you can use your medium or large brush, but these little areas of the trees, you're gonna wanna get your little skinny brush here. Just take a little bit of paint on the tip and go into those areas with your skinny brush. So if you follow the picture, you can see that this part of the tree is part of the darkest area, the black. So that's why I'm painting just this layer black. And then once I finish painting this whole layer, with my darkest value black, then I will go in with my dark blue and paint the second space all the way until I get to the very end. So when my picture is done, it should look just like this, except um, it should be versions of blue instead of black and white, or whatever color you picked. If you picked red, then it should be different light and dark versions of red. And it doesn't matter what color you pick, you just have to make sure you're mixing up dark and light versions of that color. All right, I'm gonna fast forward through this video and you can see what my landscape looks like when it's totally done. 